Hello Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. This is a general reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon and Rising for August 2020. The messages are guided by spirit but may not reflect your situation. I invite you to check your birth chart for other prominent placements and watch the other videos. There may be something for you. For a personal reading or to purchase any of my Oracle decks, uh, the link to Etsy is down below. Okay, so before we get into the cards that I pulled for you from my Spiritual Journey Oracle deck, I will share with you that, <laughs> that what I picked up when I was meditating was interesting. Um, I pictured you with a, a grin on your face, a little, maybe, you know, snarky, cheeky. Um, yeah, I, I, I picked up a little bit of sarcasm, and I, I don't know... I don't know, you know, what situation you find yourself in that you are um, kind of feeling maybe a little bold, <laughs> uh, but I did pick up a very bold energy, very, um, very uh, headstrong, you know, very King of Swords-y, which, you know, you're Aquarius, so maybe, maybe this is you just kind of taking charge a little bit. Um, yeah, definitely picked up a kind of a, a, a strong emperor-like energy. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Rediscovery. Peel back the layers of a person or situation to discover what you may not have originally known. Hmm, okay. Okay, looking at something through, you know, a new lens, seeing something for what it is. That could be interesting. All right your spiritual path. There is a higher purpose in life and you are on a mission to understand your role in it. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep going. Deepening relationship to self. Discovering what motivates you and brings you joy in life is the art of self-love. Wow. You know, maybe you, maybe you have found yourself in uh, an energy that kind of depleted you. You're, you're really looking at it clearly, I'm, I'm getting, um, you know, a veil being lifted here, looking at, looking at something for what it is. I keep getting that. New life. Your life as you know it looks so much different than before or soon will. So this is, wow, um, things are opening up for you in some way. I'm, I'm getting that you might have been on a certain path and maybe you're, you're even being kind of redirected a little bit. Looking, looking at things clearly, understanding what you're meant to do, what you're meant to do to fulfill you even. Um, it, it's almost like this, you know, this kind of snarkiness is, ha, you know, <laughs> like, um, I, I, I get you. I get you, and now I get me, or something. I don't know. Okay, so let's see what energy surrounds you in August. Aquarius for August 2020. What is the most significant energy they will experience in August, please? What can you tell Aquarius? Ooh, something's in there. I feel it. Okay, I'll stop there. Chaos and conflict. Hmm. You might have been through some upheaval. This could be in, you know, work situations, relationship situations. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is this is pretty big. This is pretty big. I feel like your path is really being, really being illuminated. All of this applies, every bit of it. It's 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 interesting. Um when I shuffle through these cards, I have my eyes closed and I just feel them. And they take on a, almost a different texture or a, a liveliness or a coolness about them. And that's when I know it's time to pull it. And I never know what's gonna come out. And when they correlate in a way that, that these are, it's unbelievable to me. I never, it never ceases to amaze me, the synchronicities between these decks. It's, it's big. I mean, August could be a kind of an aha moment for you, Aquarius. Between worlds. 
This is one foot in the past, one in the future, stepping from the dark to the light, moving through, transitioning through a situation. This is my exit card. As a reader, I've kind of adopted that meaning for this. You are on perhaps a new path. This is the energy of leaving a situation. Yes, the traditional kind of out in the cold could apply, and you may feel that way. Um, but I, I do feel like this is, you know, walking through a door and closing it behind you. Clean it up. This is clearing clutter, sweeping out, you know, regrets, old feelings, junk, clutter, murkiness. It's uh, something was a mess, and now it's time to regroup and clean up. I just saw 555. Five, five. Some of you may see that on the clock. Fives indicate big change. I feel like you definitely have some on the horizon. And there's your rebirth, regeneration. Starting again, um, you know, a new opportunity to, to uh, rediscover yourself, to, to do things over. Come on. <laughs> I don't want to touch them, they'll fall. Okay, Aquarius, so let's take a look at your energy in the month of August. Strongest energy around Aquarius, please. Strongest energy around Aquarius. I'll stop there. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny at the bottom of the deck. Cycles ending, new cycles commencing. Let's see what we have. Wow, jeez. Well, there's an internal journey first, and I, I do feel that with deepening relationship to self, your spiritual path, there's a higher purpose for you, you're on a mission to, to discover um, it. And I feel like you're rediscovering yourself in the context of something. It could be work, family, relationship, it could be a lot of different things. But I feel like it does cause, um, you know, this, this, this big, big change. So we have the hermit energy, solitude, spending time going deep, going within. Um, you know, you, you represent great intellect, Aquarius. Um, you're known for your really sharp mind. And, and I, I do feel like, you know, part of this journey you're going through is, you know, maybe logically working through what's, what's gone on. I, I don't, I don't, feel like you take that sort of an inner journey lightly. I think, um, you know, with, with your, your sharp, logical mind, it allows you to sift through stuff, you know? Um, yeah, we have wisdom, the Hierophant energy. This is your beliefs. This is paradigms, you know, family indoctrination, just all of the things that, you know, comprise um, the, the, the wisdom you've gained over, over your life, over years, the wisdom in a, it gained in a situation. I feel like you're really, you know, kind of going deep. Intuition, trusting yourself, trusting yourself, believing, you know, the truth about something. Um, even the deep stuff, the deep hidden stuff, this can be a secret, this can be, you know, something withheld from you or that you are withholding. And then we have a tower moment, disruption. So something, and I'm getting with this energy that this is more about an epiphany than it is, uh, you know, something externally occurring. It could be, but I'm really getting there's um, something that awakens in you and kind of causes this moment of truth for you. Ooh, okay, so let's see where we go with this. What does Aquarius need to know about this energy or anything else that needs to come through for them in the month of August? What does Aquarius need to know, please? August 2020 for Aquarius. What do they need to know? Anything else? Wow. Jeez. 
by the way, I could be talking about your cross watcher. This, this may be someone in your energy. My gosh. Okay, that's enough. I'm not going to do any more. I feel it. It has spoken. Oh my God. This is going to be a while. You're on the right path. You're on the right path. If you were questioning, am I where I need to be? Don't. Your path is being illuminated. Whatever you're being shown, High Priestess, trust it. Trust yourself. Trust that you are where you're supposed to be. Okay, let's see what this is about. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Um... Where do I want to go with this? <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll start here. I'll start in the mental space because I feel like that's kind of what you're doing. Um, deep contemplation, you know, the hermit. Thinking, a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting I'm getting. We have ask for guidance. Sometimes as a reader, this can be my, um, you know, counsel card, um, finding someone maybe in a professional capacity to talk to. Um, if, if what you're contemplating has given you, you know, some pause or, or there's been, you know, a tower moment, call it something that's really disrupted your life, you know, maybe you need to. This could also, again, be your person. We have sadness, loss, there's, there's regret. This can be a separation. Um, hopefully not literal loss for anyone. If so, my condolences. But I, I feel like this is more a letting go. Walking away. Hurt. So this does not come without, without pain and um, emotional challenges. And, you know, just, just because your headspace is, is usually, you know, pretty, pretty polished and, and, you know, you, you are, you have mental clarity, it, it doesn't mean that your emotions um, are always aligned with that. And, and I, I think I'm just picking up, like, uh, I, I was about to say profound sadness. Um, and, and maybe that needed to come through, but, uh, you know, you may, you may be thinking your way through how to deal with your feelings. That can be another way to look at this. I, I feel like there's a coming to conclusion about something. We have lessons. Um, yeah, you know, a situation that really might have thrown you for a loop, something that you needed to discover about yourself or a situation, rediscovery, in order to learn from it. And I think it, you know, it, it puts you on a new path. Receiving a message. This is about communication. Something may be revealed or maybe has been revealed. This is not a timeline. It could be from the past, communication from the past. Um, and then there's this bright spot. <laughs> there's this bright spot. We have love. You know, and this, this could be something that awaits you at the end of this journey. Discovering, discovering love for yourself, you know? Deepening relationship to self. I'll read this again. Discovering what motivates you and brings you joy in life is the art of self-love. So this could totally be about just being loving to yourself. But I also feel that there is somebody on your path. Um, we have life partner. Spend some time together. So coming through difficulty on the other side is, you know, this this warm, lovely, you know, love that, that awaits, like a lifelong love. Somebody maybe you've been waiting for. Regeneration, the walking away, the, the loss, the, the counsel. This could be someone going through divorce or a separation of sorts, leaving, exiting. 
knowing the path must be cleared for for what really awaits you and what awaits you looks really beautiful wow okay so let's look at the tarot what else does Aquarius need to know about this energy please how will things unfold what else do they need to know please for August 2020 Aquarius August 2020 what else do they need to know please I keep seeing the Queen of Cups that's a loving compassionate energy whoa anything else please anything else for Aquarius bottom of the deck the devil that speaks to karmic stuff you know karmic attachments Wow man reversed 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 my gosh okay all right this is not a timeline I'm, I'm gonna try to tell a story here but let's see what we've got um, okay we have the ten of swords and uh, you know this is past betrayal past hurt this this can go way back you know it, it, it feels to me like the the tower brings this ending and this is representing that we have um, remember I was kind of picking up an Emperor energy we have the Emperor um, strength I'm getting uber strength with this the lovers this can be a choice about love you know making decisions in love truth being told ace of swords clarity uber clarity we have the king of Pentacles reversed um, I'm I am picking up specifically with this energy that you know um, either your world or someone's someone's foundation has kind of been rocked we have death which I feel is you know something transforming something changing you know with death comes rebirth right regeneration and the chariot moving moving forward moving on I, I get a, a kind of mo a momentum type of an energy with this I don't know where the where the that kind of cheeky snarky <laughs> energy that I was getting was coming from I you know I I can't imagine somebody saying you know like I, I told you so um, interesting okay let's clarify some of this let's look at death death the ten of swords you know something's over something's changing and transforming your life what is that about one more death okay so we have the tower Jesus the eight of wands temperance reversed Wow that is um, that is an incredibly um, you know gnarly energy it's like uh, um, It's swift change it is you know maybe chaos a little bit out of control so you know this this disruptive energy could be um, an event maybe not an epiphany although this could be an internal thing kind of you know wanting to act this is it, it feels a little bit rash or irrational but let's let's take a look at um, this again I'm actually going to clarify the clarifiers let's look at the tower eight of wands temperance reversed the two of Pentacles this is choices options figuring out what to do but I, I still get sort of this rash sort of energy with this what else 
wow, another 10, the 10 of wands. I think whatever this energy is, um, whoever's caught up in this has been in this so long that it's like, I'm freaking done with this. I am, I, I've got to figure out a way out of this. And now I don't, yeah, it's, it's uncomfortable. So let's take a look at the emperor energy. What is that about? Oh, wow. Yeah, th th this can be an, a, an energy of, of being, you know, anger, needing to, to, I mean, this is, this can be uh, hasty, hastiness. The hermit. Interesting. I know what I want and I'm getting it. I'm going for it now. The emperor was just peeking out of the deck. That, that, that's definitely this this strong kind of motivated taking control taking charge um, not jacking around energy so let's look at the lovers I what is this choice knight of cups reversed um, you know that can be withholding uh, love it's it, it can be um, a little bit of irrational emotions or behavior too. I'm, I'm kind of getting, I'm, I'm getting a withholding for some reason. Let's, let's see what else. Lovers. Three of Swords. This, the choice could be to, to pull back love in a certain situation, something, something being withheld. Let's look at the truth. Let's find out what truth is being spoken. I'm going to move these. Ace of Swords, please. Why is that here? Okay, we have Ace of Wands reversed. You know, that, that can be a, a, a delay. It can be, it can be rejection. Um, something something not getting off the ground we have the ten of swords boy I'm, I'm getting you know this this strong we might have to look at that individually because it, it feels like there's maybe something unexpected like like a a, a betrayal a, a, a false start gosh that's I feel like there's a couple people, although we're not seeing other court cards come out, I feel like there's a situation that's, um, that's unfolding, which, which prompts this massive ending. And I, and I wonder if, uh, you know, the false start is that something needed to, you know, go away and something needed to be left behind, something that wasn't going to go anywhere. We have the nine of swords that came out with the 10, or I'm sorry, the, the uh, four of wands. This can be stress about a relationship. Sometimes this represents home, union. And maybe this is just, you know, for lack of stability or direction, perhaps. This hasn't gone anywhere, but we have the chariot energy here. Let's look at, um, first of all, let's look at the 10 of swords. Why is that here? What happened? Ah, the Empress. Betrayal, hurt. This can be wife, mother, divine feminine. And maybe the hurt is, is just this, um, the burden of, of all of this. Okay, let's look at the chariot, because I feel like there is some movement that maybe at, at the end of this, something turns around. Let's look at the chariot, please. Chariot. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take what's upright and the other 10 I'm not. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles, or I'm sorry, King of Pentacles reversed again. The Page of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Something's coming through about, about money, stability, other people. 
news, a an apology perhaps. Hmm. Let's see what else. Anything else about um, the chariot, page of cups, king of pentacles, reverse, three of pentacles. Yeah, other people, the five of wands. It's, it's perhaps wanting to move on from that. Figuring out how to navigate um, obligations to other people, needing to apologize perhaps to other people. Wow, this is complicated. If this is resonating, somebody is um, really going through it. So let's look at what else you need to know, Aquarius. What else does Aquarius need to know about this situation? My gosh, your cards are flying. I have another one on the floor. Oh, <laughs> wow. We have the fool on the floor taking a leap, you know, into something brand new, new life. I feel like not without some struggle, stuff is just getting blown up. We have the seven of pentacles, which is really about, um, it, it can be a waiting, it can be a delay, um, expecting something to, to happen, watching things come to fruition. Okay. And then we have the six of swords transitioning to a better place, a better mental space and the lovers. My gosh, but, but you know, the underlying emotion here is sadness, loss, regret. Wow, six of cups, sun. So when you can move through this emotion, you know, this, this is perhaps what's waiting. We have, you know, love, life partners, spend time together. I, I just feel like this is a really difficult energy for somebody, but I think it's going to get better. Wow. So let's look at the, the future energies in the, this connection, this life partner love connection. Look, let's look at the future energy spirit for Aquarius. Future energies, please. Okay, we have heart to heart conversations. Let go of control issues. Allow this to unfold naturally. Yeah, I feel like there is a, a big, um, a, 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 a more, a, a more complicated underlying situation going on that you may not be able to control. Whoever's resonating with this, it's, it's your person who's going through this. Just let it happen. Talk, talk it out. Be supportive to one another. Bottom of the deck, we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. That reminds us to be connected, you know, in a healthy way, in a healthy way. So let's see what comes through from the lighted pathway. Any advice and guidance for Aquarius, please, regarding this reading? What else do you have for Aquarius? Wow. <laughs> God. Anything else? That was my stomach, by the way. That's a bonus. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Oops. Okay, go ahead. Bottom of the deck. Someone new on your path. And I feel like, you know, this love, this life partner is what awaits. This is what awaits. Um, wow. So there's your timing card for those who resonate with this next year. So five months to, you know, 17 months. Okay. Let's see. All right, we have, wow. Wanting a break, taking a break. You know, sometimes we need this quiet introspection to disconnect from chaos that we're working through. Um, so this is not a time to put pressure on anybody or anything. There is a lot of junk going on. There's other people, there's money, you know, challenges, stability challenges, um, truth, 
needing to come out, feelings to be resolved. So this, this is give it a rest, just let things happen. But it is happening. There is something that will, you know, allow you or your person to emerge. Healing wounds. Confidence. And maybe there's a lack of confidence here. The emperor is confident. I was picking up a very um, bold energy. So, so this could be, uh, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to muscle through this mess and get to the other side because I see what's waiting for me. This is so worth it. You will look back <laughs> on this chaos and say, wow, you know, I, I overcame. I was able to do this. Ooh, wow. Sorry, your reading is going so long, but it, it's good. Okay, so let's get some other guidance for you, Aquarius. Anything else for Aquarius, please? Final guidance for Aquarius. Oh my gosh, yes. Anything else? Quite a lot came out and I am not surprised. Okay. Wow. Okay. The relationship you are in is serving to teach you something very important. Honor the vessel that is your body. You are being asked to take better care of your body, mind, and soul. When choosing how to say it, Choose honesty. Vulnerability is strength. A destined event is coming. If you feel the energy, you're right. <laughs> oh, God. Big old tower moment. Holy cow. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. This can go a lot of different ways for a lot of different people. I feel like some of this advice was for both of you. Um, so, you know, take it as it resonates for your situation. But... I'm going to leave it there. Okay, until September, I, I send you all love and light. Take care.